applications have you seen where the combination of smart cards and biometrics are catching on? I would say the, the two main application arenas are going to be national ID and what I call mission critical. And uh, so national ID is, I think, are pretty obvious. Uh, a lot of countries are, around the world are combining biometrics and smart cards uh, to create stronger national, identif uh, uh, stronger national ID cards. And uh, we're, we're seeing primarily fingerprint technologies as, as the uh, biometric of choice in these applications. The second area is one in the, in the warfighter, in the mission critical areas, where we, uh, we're seeing the, the local populations be uh, enrolled into these larger databases. And they're, they're enrolling fingerprint, they're enrolling iris, and they're enrolling facial images. And this is an area that is, is probably n not seeing very much public uh, uh, exposure. But, but certainly, it, it's one of the very major initiatives going on around the world. How do smart cards and biometrics technology complement one another when used together? Smart cards and biometrics form a great partnership. Uh, these, are, these are two technologies that, when combined, really help to facilitate the, a higher level of assurance for identifying ind individuals, um, higher level of assurance for identifying, or for rather, uh, for ensuring that people who are who they claim to be uh, smart cards alone, uh, they help raise the bar. Uh, they do add more security, and uh, you can use them to help protect digital credentials. But certainly, when you add the, the notion of biometrics, you really do have the ability to, to positively identify people. The other, on the other hand, smart cards can also help protect those biometric credentials. Uh, if you lose your password, if you lose any other form, uh, form of ID, you can certainly replace them. But if you lose your biometrics, you can't really replace those. So you really need a secure container where you can securely uh, hold and store your biometrics so you can use them when it's appropriate and uh, not fear having somebody be able to, to lift them or, or, or uh, steal them from you. Can you think of examples of where the marriage of smart cards and biometrics is not a good idea? One of the things that you must consider before you deploy any sort of biometric is how is, how is it going to be used? Uh, who is it going to be used against? What are the environmentals? Uh, for example, if you want to use facial biometrics, then you have to have good lighting. Because as kids, perhaps, when you're out in, the, uh, in your tent going camping, you hold a flashlight underneath your face and you create a grotesque face. Well, that same sort of lighting uh, effect can happen with, with facial biometrics. So lighting is very uh, critical. If you're in a population where perhaps hygiene is not great, um, the last thing you may want to do is, is use fingerprint bi biometrics because now you have the general public all using the same fingerprint sensor over and over again, and there are potentially health issues associated with that. Choosing the right biometric is, is as important as choosing biometrics by themselves.